and welcome to this tutorial. This is Lawrence with Jezza, and today I'm showing you how to trim and chop MP3s up in Linux just to help the new people switching from Windows or Macintosh into Linux. This is very simple and no terminal is needed. So, what we need to do is install a piece of software called Audacity. So, if we go here, mine is already installed, but I'll show you where to get it from. It's the Ubuntu Software Center. And in here we need to audacity, but I'm just going to type in AUD, which will pick it up. It's there. I'm not going to click remove because it's already installed. Normally it's say install, so you click it, give it your password, and it installs it for you. And we're going to push more info. It tells us that audacity is a multi-track audio editor for Linux, Stroke Unix, Mac OS, and Windows, designed for easy recording and playback of editing digital audio. And here's a few screenshots, and you can make them larger. So if I click that one, click there, it makes it larger. Press the close button, press that one. Let it download the screenshot, click there, and it makes it larger. So once it's installed, it'll either be here, or it will be in the search there. So I'm gonna click it. <coughs> okay, it's told me it's running already. Okay, so once what I wanna do now is import a file. I've already got a file here. But I'll do a new project, so if I want you, I want to import an MP3. So a file, import, and I'm going to push audio. And the one I'm going to do is the Shadows theme from EastEnders, Howard's Way. Push open, I click it, push open, you'll get importing file, and you'll see the all the wavy draggy lines, I mean there's audio there, and the straight lines here. And here, I mean, there's a silence. So when you play it, it plays a silence. And it plays the audio. So to remove the silence, very, very simple. All I'm doing is click here, highlight it, and do edit, and delete. And the same with here. Edit, and delete. So that's now deleted both the audio, um, both the silences off the track. I can go back to the beginning of the track, and I can push the play button. And it plays without the silences. Now, what else I can do with Audacity? So I can cut things up and take things out and reverse stuff and add a bit of echo to stuff. So, say I wanted to add a bit of echo to the first few minutes of the, of the software, or of the pro, of the music. Sorry, click there, and go to effects, and I can fade in, fade out. Um, I can add an echo, so if I added an echo, so yeah, delay, say three seconds, that's going to be maybe a bit fast, but when I play it, you can add CD echo, if I do edit, undo echo, I can go effects, and I can, what's the phase of it, preview, It goes phase goes in and out. You can adjust it. So I so say I wanted to go a bit more depth in the program, depth in the song. Preview. Do it more depth. Let's turn all up and make a play with this one. So preview. Oh, horrible! So change the frequency down. Preview it again. Okay, it's even something more horrible. So if I cancel it, so no effect has been done, I can push FX and I can go reverse. And when it plays, okay, I'm going to do the reverse, edit, under reverse. And what's that one? Let's try that one. I swear I just was. Okay. I can even cut that piece out, so I can do an edit again, edit, cut, and it plays. Okay, and I can do edit, undo, cut. Now if I wanted to save that as an MP3, I would press the file button, and I would go to export audio, and I'll type in the name, I'm going to call it, let's call it the shadows. 
test one. Okay, so we've got test there, and I'll stick it in with downloads. And here we've got MP3. You can change a different variety of files. So you've got M4A. So you can do it as an Apple ringtone. AC3, MP3, AIFF. But for now, I want to do it as an MP3. And I push the save. And we're going to type in anything you want here. You can call it the artist's name. I'm not going to bother. I'm going to leave it all blank. I'm going to push OK. Push OK, and it will save it. It's bought the entire file at 128 kilobytes. If you do it at higher kilobytes, it takes slightly longer to export. And that's it. It's imported, exported the audio, the cut audio, as an MP3. Now, if I wanted to export just a piece of the audio, so say this bit here, and hit play. Okay, I would do file, export selected audio. I'm going to call it test two. Two. And leave it as an MP3. Press save. Move it up again. Push OK. And it's exported the audio. Now I need to quit Audacity. Tell it no, nope, because I want to save the project. Tell it again, no. Nope. I said the project because I've got two running. And I'll show you where the MP3s are, which are in files and in my downloads. And where is it? Shadows test one. That's what we just created. So I'm going to open that with VLC. That's the one we just chopped. And the one I've just done, part of the audio, is this one here. Open with VLC player. was the um, part of the audio that I uh, exported on Audacity. So that was a quick look on how to trim and chop export parts of a song in Audacity. Hope you found this tutorial um, of some use. It's just to help the new people switch into Linux. Till next time, this has been Linux with Jezza, and I'll catch you soon.